we all know that today is a day where pranks happen, but this is no joke. I have something that no one else has. I now have cat ears. <laughs> okay, that's not original. Konnichiwa, minasan. <laughs> today we are going to look it's, at it's Matt. It's minyasan. Minya. Minya-san. <laughs> Minya-san. <laughs> Minya-san, today we are going to be reviewing uh, an, op an operating system. System Yan. Forget all of these other operating systems. We know, we all know that the best operating system is not any of these things. Debian? Who uses Debian? No one uses Debian. Fedora? Who uses Fedora? No one uses Fedora. Hunix? Windows 10 and 11? Who cares? No one uses those. Those are fake operating systems. Uh, instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reviewing one of the greatest operating systems ever created in the history of man. And that operating system is Windows 8.1. <laughs> the best operating system. My friends told me this was the greatest operating system ever, and I thought it was so great I didn't install it. <laughs> so uh, let's give Windows 8.1 a quick install, and out of abundance of caution, Windows 8 is just happens to be so new and so fresh that I just need to disconnect it from the internet. <laughs> And then we will just get get cracking. Ah, uh, look at that sweet, sweet screen of Windows. Hey, it doesn't even look that different from today. I've actually never used Windows eight point one, so I, I this is a new experience. For me. I mean, I actually don't even remember how of... I acquired a CD for this. I I I dug all over the place, but I somehow had a Windows eight point one CD. It I never does feel them. an awful lot like Windows ten, at least so far. I mean, okay, we got Windows 8. Select your language, English. Select your time, English. Select your English. Next. Install. Here we go. Setup is starting. All right, please enter your product key. I have come prepared. Uh, I would never encourage piracy, but this isn't even piracy. Microsoft actually provides these keys for people. So uh, using the power of this product key, uh, I will be uh, putting in uh, the Windows 8.1 Pro key. Uh, now we agree to sign over our soul to the devil. And then we're going to install. Yes, you can collect all of the information that you can manage to. It's not even connected to the internet. Exactly. In internet. Internet Explorer. Roll. I think that's actually Internet Explorer. No, really? Oh, this is taking so long. Why is this taking so long? Why because is it's getting installing... files ready for installation. I was installing Windows, like pulling teeth. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got the roller coaster dots. I mean, something's happening. Here we go. Roller coaster dots round two. Oh boy. And now more vertical. I'm going to be here forever while I am in the black. <gasps> here we go. Here we go. Personalize. Hooray. This is actually shocking that Windows, Windows 10 doesn't even offer people such an option, even though they still have it. Solid, the solid colors. I don't think Windows 7 never offered that pink. It's the name of your PC. Uh, that's it. Simp for me, daddy. I want to see all of you simps click the like button. What is this? Express settings. We recommend these settings so that we can automatically install updates on your computer and send us info to improve Microsoft services. Turn on, turn on do not track in Internet Explorer. Wow, that will be helpful. Hmm. You have to click on customize to get more information. Automatically install updates. Help protect your PC and your privacy. Use smart screen online services to know. Send do not track sites on fine, whatever. That Windows is an error incredibly reporting. offensive no. thing. No. No. 
self-improved Microsoft. Now, this is a weird blast from the past. Microsoft not wanting to collect telemetry from people. It's all checked off by default. <laughs> Share info with Microsoft. Ah, here we go. But they didn't uncheck these ones. This just to let your guard down. <laughs> Gotta uncheck all the boxes. <laughs> what apps use my advertising ID? <laughs> Send Microsoft all of your files. Okay, what is your name? Uh, what is your username? Uh, Matt, what's your what's your password? Uh, it's gonna be uh, one know. two three four five six. Uh, password. Uh, Monster Cardo. Monster Cardo. Dora. There we go. That's my password. While while you see this screen, just witness clips of Monster Cardo. You know this. This actually looks really similar to, shockingly similar to Windows Ten, and Eleven. It's just a solid color screen now. But look at how fast that took. Holy wow, God. such orange. It's done. Windows Windows 8.1. Yay. You know, the, all right, guys, backstory time. Last version of Windows I ever used was Windows 7. It's the last version of Windows I daily drove. Uh, Windows 8.1. Ah, uh, that's right, they got rid of the start menu. Ah. Uh. The one that everyone goes into settings and figures out how to re-enable later. You can re-enable the start menu? When does Microsoft give people choice? Didn't they issue updates to block people from using Classic Shell? I vaguely I remember that being a thing. I don't know. Microsoft often blocks people from doing things that they're not supposed to, that people then get around... Use your mouse different pointer projects. to all the way to click at the corner of the bottom. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Lock screen. What a pretty lock screen. You need to activate Windows before you. Okay. Actually, frankly, in terms of like the the desktop pictures and stuff, it they had way better desktop pictures than Windows 10 does. They're okay. This is definitely the best version. Windows, of Windows. 10 has more of them though. I think awkward. everyone should downgrade from Windows 11 back to Windows 8 because it's the best version. This is 8.1. 8 is the best version. Oh, 8. Point, it, 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 this this is 8.1. Then yeah, then 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 8.1. It's 0.1 better than than 8. Ooh, look at all these. Oh, look, a maps app. Yeah, what a miracle. Let's click on. Let me get out of here. All right, Windows key gets you out of there. You got the mail app. They have the Stonks app. All right, should I connect to the internet now? I'm feeling adventurous. Let's connect to the internet. I now have the interwebs. Would you like to be discovered now? I don't even know what the right... <gasps> Look at this! The, even the news app is still receiving updates in Windows 10, 8.1. <laughs> That's amazing. The money. If you try to download Firefox, Will it let you download Firefox? Of course it will, because nothing has changed except the start menu. Come on. Why is this so slow? Uh, cause... Oh, because... Oh, that's right. I have no idea. These are such extravagant colors. They are. Like, the Very center bold. of my eye is getting burning. Well, we got... From, uh, from wind, watching this. Just from the... And if everyone got sick of the live tiles, uh, here they are all. And then here's the... Here's your menu, your start menu. Uh, as we know, I am an old man, and like most old men, cannot stand any GUI programs at all. Which means we gotta, oh, we gotta crack open the terminal. Do you know the worst part about the start menu that everyone hated? Is essentially, that's what Launchpad is on macOS, and macOS never had a start page. Like, a, like a start menu. Like this. You still... Yeah, that's that's essentially Launchpad, because with Launchpad, you just get all of your icons in a row. I guess they're not in alphabetical order, but they're in, like, you could make them in alphabetical order if you wanted to. 
Um, and that's that's yeah. how you would have to open them. Or I guess you could have like everything down in your dock at the bottom like a masochist. Ah, here we go. Track all of your investments in one place. Oh, here we go. Just give Bing all of your finance, financial stuff. Microsoft doesn't get hacked all the time. They still haven't changed. It's not loading. Do you think they even support this anymore? What if you click on Start Exploring? Didn't do anything? No. I would say it's dead. Oh, no. It's dead. All right, let's try giving it a test. We're going to do Apple. Apple. Nothing. I, oh, I even didn't Windows? Yeah. Microsoft? Oh, it is just dead. Rip. Oh, that's so sad. Big money is dead. Your Big internet money. isn't blocking MSN.com, is no, it? No, no. This is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad that it's not even up anymore. This is what curse you, Steve Ballmer. <laughs> Why can't it's I get this Firefox. anymore? Install Firefox. All right, so we all right, kids. We all know. Oh my gosh, it looks so different. Set up Internet Explorer. Ah, uh, no, I think no. All right, all right, kids. Quiz <laughs> Internet time. Explorer is retiring. Quiz time. Dude. What is the very first thing you do when you connect? To, when you connect when you open your Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer on Windows. Mozilla.org. Wrong. That is the wrong answer. When you go to open your browser for the first time, the first website you navigate to is chocolatey.org. And then you are going to go and download yourself the chocolatey by going to the try it now button. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, make sure you can launch it in PowerShell because we all know the superior way to do everything is through the command line. Okay, so we're gonna do set execution policy to I believe it's what all unsigned, all all signed. Yeah. Run everything, the most secure thing and that you could do on a Windows 8 machine. This is 8.1, silly. <laughs> That's so much better, so much better. It's a whole point one higher. Okay, so then we're gonna pay. So then, what you want to do is you want to copy this command here. Apparently, that's I, like that's like thirty three percent more button presses than Windows ten. And then so what, unoptimized. And then what you're gonna do is you're just going to uh, install Chocolatey on your machine. And then what you're going to do is then you can use this to install Windows 10, Windows ten. Here we go. Choco is now ready. Choco <laughs> install Firefox. Dash Y. Boom. Here we go. Hey, I got it. Here we go. And That's also, the latest you version. Used the worst browser. You used Edge. You're supposed to use Internet Explorer, the best browser. Is this yeah, this is Edge. Wow. No, this is Explorer. This go is the UWP version of Internet Explorer. Yeah, but like down at the bottom, you have two icons. What's the one on the far left? This is the non UWP version of Internet Explorer. So this is the UWP version of Internet Explorer, and then this is the normal version of Internet Explorer. So here we go. Firefox from the modern day and age brought to life. Actually, I'm, before, I'm sorry for everybody watching, but we need to fix the, this, the aspect ratio. All right, you can't even do things in here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do control.exe. <laughs> All right, we're going <laughs> to... The pain of changing your settings back in the old days of Windows. You have to do control.exe. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go to adjust resolution. And then we're going to do 1080p because that is what I do. All right. I'm done. Yay. All right. Here we go. Same old, look at this. Same old Firefox. It's the same old Firefox that everyone knows today. Go watch the video about it You'll, when it's up. That's that's frankly kind of amazing. Look, even now, everything you'd expect still works. You can visit your the normal websites that people go to. Oh, look at that. That actually works. And it works. Oh, look at this. Top left corner. Go down. 
There's this whole Interesting. other Interesting. What if you press share? Share, yeah. That's nice, share. actually. Share screenshot oh, you of your desktop. Over? But I can't click on anything. Uh, mail. Send an email. It's probably going to want you There's to sign into There's a problem sharing your... this. <laughs> uh, One note. One note. Uh oh. Couldn't sc share a screenshot of OneNote. You know, frankly, there there were a lot of features in Windows 8, uh, 8 8.1 that were, this were good. This useful. I didn't see what people if you, using this. What if you try to do a Windows update? Will it will it alert you that you have an old version of Windows? Of course not, silly. Old? You mean new? The new? It, the old best. is the new Windows? The best version oh. of Windows. Windows update control panel. Obviously, I don't need to update it. It doesn't say anything about it. Ah, 129 updates are available. <laughs> Here we go. Remember back in the old days when you could control updates you get for Windows? Look at all these security updates and cumulative updates. Oh my gosh. Remember Microsoft Security Essentials? Oh my gosh, that brings back memories. The 2017 monthly quality roll-up for Windows 8.1. But look at this one. 2022, 0 March, security monthly quality roll-up for Windows 8.1. Why? A security issue has been identified because... in a Microsoft service product that could affect your system. You can help protect your system by installing this update from Microsoft. For a complete listing of the issues listed in this update, you can see the associated Microsoft Knowledge Base article. After you install the update, you may restart your system. Published on you know March I've... 8th, 2022. And if I recall you know correctly, what, I find... Mar what is March 8th, 2022? Patch Tuesday! <laughs> Do you know what Patch I find Tuesday. amazing? Uh, I find it amazing that I haven't seen a single mention in the operating system of Windows 10 or Windows 11. What do you mean? Haven't you seen the desktop? This looks exactly like Windows 10 to me. Same menu. Rip Microsoft MSN money. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Microsoft Store. Your computer Your isn't connected, isn't to, the connected internet. to the internet. I'm connected to the internet, all right. It might not support it anymore. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I guess it was just Napster. <laughs> oh boy! I remember my child. I remember my my childhood, middle age years, my youth. <laughs> Are these the top downloaded apps of uh, for other users with similar specs? I mean, we got so these cool. are top featured. Got Hulu and Ted and uh, racing games. Despicable Me, Minion Rush, Netflix. Ooh. So it's size five megabytes. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Type in your password. Sorry, we couldn't connect to Microsoft services right now. It can't be. My favorite operating system that I never used until today is now dead. But again, imagine imagine that, that you're someone who knows nothing of computers and you just use the thing that your your computer came with and you have Windows 8.1 and and you don't know why your computer is not is not working anymore. And my computer isn't working, Microsoft. This is ridiculous. Why isn't my yeah. computer working? It's been it's been since 2013. Come on. It's almost nine years and Windows 10 is still should would still be supported, right? Look at all these stuff. OneDrive, you think OneDrive will work? Oh. So you gotta oh. log into your OneDrive account. I can't though. You must sign into your PC with a Microsoft account. Okay, let's sign into the Microsoft account. I'm getting like a Stygan green from this pink background. Oh, that sounds so like, like when you, you. That sounds like a you problem. Yeah, OneDrive, literally is a me Microsoft problem. Account.
The service isn't available right now. Please try again later. I'm sure later will help. Microsoft, this is incredibly disappointing. How come I can't connect a, an account for your own service to the operating system that I own? Ooh, update and recovery. What if you go there? What, what does that do? Press check, check for updates. This is the same thing from control panel. You go back to no, control. No, but this one is more different. -er. Look, you can even get it to it from the start menu. Windows update. Look at that. And it's doing the exact same thing here as it is doing right here. I have actually had the Windows updates in settings and Windows update in control panel disagree with each other. Oh, this looks familiar. This is a familiar looking screen now, isn't it? Devices. It is very surprising how little the settings menu has changed. When Windows needs to... Oh, it crashed. Okay, let's check out helps and tips. I need help using computers. Start and apps. What is the start screen? Start is the starting point of everything you do on your PC. Open apps and desktop programs. See how your friends are doing and get to your favorite websites and files. It's like the old start menu, but now it's full screen. The tiles can show updates on your friends, a new email, or the next appointment for your calendar at a glance without opening the app. Because everyone who uses the PC can sign up their own Microsoft account, each person can custom personalize their tile colors and backgrounds. You see your stuff and they see theirs. Get more apps. You lied to me, Microsoft. I can't get more apps. I tried. <laughs> what are we ever to do about having the best operating system? See all of the, your the, apps. The best version, but not being able to download apps. See all of your apps. You can now pin apps to the, to the start screen. It's truly revolutionary. Desktop. The desktop and desktop programs you're familiar with are still in Windows. To get to the desktop, click on the desktop button. Or try clicking the start button. It's on the left side of your taskbar. We won't show you which button, though. That wasn't helpful, Microsoft. Get around. What if you press the Windows key right now? Ooh. All these apps that I can't use. Oh. Rise up, gamers! We got Xbox time! This isn't helpful. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Guys, can we get a like? How sad Windows 8.1 is. I would be disappointed if this was my operating system. Okay, reading list. Oh, see how it's done. But imagine, imagine you really did. You really are using Windows 8.1. Take and reading you don't with know. you. Windows 10? I'm using Windows 8.1? What's going on? Conspiracy Windows Phone? Theory. They told me something about Windows Phone. Oh my gosh. Remember Windows Phone? The Windows Phone was my favorite the, phone. The, the fantastic idea that was a Windows Phone that failed. They were ahead of their time. I, I mean, it really, really and truly, the Windows Phone was... Let's... Like, you know, full-fledged desktop features, but mobile? Yeah. I actually would have been a good idea. In current year. Yeah, we just weren't used, used to it. Here we go. Here we go. The news. We're going to live up to our name. The news. We'll, we'll let it keep thinking. Camera. Can camera use your location? Why no. does the camera need my location? Can I start to connect to the camera? Well, I can't connect it now. Uh, video. No, no Xbox e video. Store? Oh, no. This is still around, you know. But how come I can't connect to it in Windows 8.1? I know you still use it, Microsoft. It's in Windows 11. But why won't you let me use it? You're discriminating against me. They can't mess up the weather. I was right. They can't mess up the weather. That's because the weather API probably hasn't changed since what's it like a, what's was a location? Uh, L Michigan. Michigan. How do you spell Michigan? No results Buffalo. matched. 
fine. What's the town in Ling... Ling and whatever... Lang Philippines. Here we go. I was right. Microsoft couldn't mess up the weather. What is this? How come I can't see anything? What's happening? I saw that pretty image of the rain earlier. You know, this is the best part of Windows. For this alone, I have to give Windows. This is a 10 out of 10. I like this app. But what happened to that? Oh, no, it's an 8.1 out of 8.1. Oh, I like that. Oh, food and drink. I like food and drink. Look, they're giving me stock advice and news articles here, but they're taunting me because I can't. Oh, this is sports. What? They taunted Wait, me by so showing the a news article, thumbnail, but it won't load. The 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 preview loads, but the web page, the the actual app doesn't. No, this is such bait, Microsoft. That probably means that the Windows, the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 Ooh, versions guys, on the guys, back end are using the same thing. Ten. We got a 10 out of 10. We got the news to load. The news is loading. The news isn't loading. Zero out of 10. It almost had it, but then it didn't. Oh my gosh. Not loading. Business Insider, not loading. A tech crunch, not loading. No. Even this page won't even load. It's just a white screen. This is so sad. Camera doesn't work. How do you future proof your applications? You just never update them. This It really is the only way to future proof your applications. Yeah, so you know, you just base everything on Internet Explorer, and everything will just always work. Internet Explorer. Where's the food? Come on, food. Get back. Internet Explorer. Rodingu. Roding. Roding. Uh, Skype. They can't possibly not see you, let you use Skype. Yes, it's just Skype we're talking about. Monster Cardo. No! Can't even use Skype. The world's best chat platform. Oh. They're not, uh, they're not getting cranky with you because you don't have a fully activated copy of Windows, do you? Uh, no. They can't possibly be. I would never steal from a company, a corporation. Never. Calendar. Oh, this is going to fail too. Yeah. This is, so, this is so upsetting. Guys, this is so sad. I, I'm sorry. I have to stop. This is, this is a truly dark day indeed. Uh, we can't use Windows 11. I have to give... Um, Windows 11, a 0 out of 10 for not working nine years after its release date. Please. This is awful. Microsoft, you need to reconsider your decision for not supporting an operating system you said you wouldn't support. But at least I have the comfort of using the, the jagged corners of explorer.exe. All the old retro icons that I love so much. Gotta love those pointy corners. As you can see, uh, if you just click on this PC, click on properties, look at that. Windows 8.1. Except it just says Windows 8. They Copyrighted 8 2013. The yeah, this is when I got it. It was nine available. years ago. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I, I can't do this any longer. Uh, I'm so sad that Windows Windows has gotten rid of everything that I love so much. Why does it have to be this way? Uh, I have to give uh, Windows 8.1 a... Uh, I'm, only gonna, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 10. This is... I, I love some of these applications, but 
has some nice features, but Windows 10 took away everything I love, just like they almost took away my Windows 7 from me. I give Windows 8.1 a 4.05 out of 10. There we go. Which is one Man. half of 8.1. That's, that's 4.5 less than me. 0 0.45 less than me. Uh, there you go. Uh, what did we learn on today's April 1st? Uh, Windows 11 sucks! <laughs> <laughs>